Good afternoon. Hi, honey. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you, love, love? Good. I'm good having case. a good day. Right. A little crazy, good. though. You having a good day? Yeah, it was a little nutty. Are you pregnant? No, but I've been oh, home all day. You all know, right, I never stay it. home. All right, just so check. I've been home all day talking to all these different people, and um, it, I just showered 20 minutes ago. You know, you just I didn't even do my hair. I don't even know how it looks, but. No, you look, your hair looks yeah. marvelous. I'm in my shocking pink. Because your hair looks like shit, really. I know, it doesn't look good because I didn't do my hair today. I really yeah, didn't. It's a mess. But that's okay. All right, let's see, I'm fixing it. All right, there you go. All right. So how there about you? How are you today? All right, everything's good. Everything's uh, happy-go-lucky. Yeah. Right now. Well, not really. Uh, just uh, I might as well just start it out to let everybody know I'm, I'm going for some major surgery for tomorrow. So if you don't see me for a little while, uh, I'm just out for the count, but I'm going to be okay. I'm going to pop in. I'm going to somehow Zoom. And uh, I can't let her do it by herself. No it way. Fair. I have a special yeah. thing that... We'll be putting up on the stage on Monday. Oh, really? You haven't seen it yet. But a special I, thing. your picture, you're going to be sitting right next to me. Oh, isn't that sweet? For the whole time you're gone. And I'm going to be annoying you. So just don't think that you're not going to be calling in and being part of the show. Because I can't do it without you. Yes, you can. No, I can't. You have to annoy me. You have to yell at me. You have to do all those things. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, I'm going to be like without words. I can't fight with anybody. That's, that's for sure. I that's can't fight sure. with the guests. No, you fight with everybody else. Mm. So I throw them in the, in the, in the mix. No, so. I really like it makes a difference. You have to at least promise us that you'll be like checking in. I am. I'm, you kidding me? I'm I know ready. that everybody will be pushing for you. I know I will be. And I will miss you terribly, but you will be fine because yeah. guess what? Just to let everybody know it's back surgery. So I'm going to be uh, a little bit out of commission, look like Herman Munster for a while. But I'm still going to come on even though I'm going to have a, like a neck brace and whatever. So as long as they don't mess around with my voice, I'm good to go. That's and all I as say. long as your fingers work, you could watch. My hands will always work. You could watch I love my everything. Hands. That's all I have really. But and yeah. you could start re watching the show instead of not watching it when you're not up no, to I can't do being that. on it yet. Because he doesn't like watching himself. No, I don't like watching the show. He's me because I don't like my voice. I don't like the way I look. He has a great voice. So I, so I critique myself, and then I'm like, oh, I should have said this. And I'm not, you know. See, with her, at least when she does something, I can yell at her right then and there. Yeah. Because then I'll be yelling at her for the rest of the... But if your fingers if work, you could send me notes, and I could say... No. Mm, no. 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 But anyway, we wish you the best. No, thank you. Thank and, you, thank you know, you. we're praying for your full recovery, recovery of your back. So on that note, we have some great people here today. Yeah, it's some very, very special people. Yeah, we have a Frankie D. Look at this guy. He's you just know such a stud. He's a stud. He's just such I a stud. I know him for what? About two years now, right? Yes, I know about two years. I want to thank you and uh, Greg for having me on. It was very nice that you invited me. I usually don't do these type of broadcasts, but uh, it's been very nice that you invited me. I do appreciate it. And, um, and when I, fun. yeah, I said to you, fun. tell we'll me a little bit about what you do. Cause I'm a, a comedic personality, a but I only appear and I only perform for certain groups of people that appreciate my, uh, humor, right? my humor, like so to speak. Like jail and stuff right, like that. Right, people like in jail, that. people that's at, uh, and just in it. politics, people yeah. that are of, of my age. That's it. Um, not to get off the subject, I wanted to ask you, um, you're going for back surgery. Yeah. Uh, what hospital are you going to be in? Uh, St. Francis. It's the best hospital that yeah. I could say for most surgeries. Yeah. I just left there last year. I had open heart surgery. Had a new valve put in. Quite Excellent. A bypass. Excellent. Very nice people there. Good to and know. I, I, just, I, was, yeah, I, I just was recently released from Syosset Hospital three for weeks ago. I know. He's for my, uh, my hip. I had a oh, new yeah. hip replacement. And I'm going to tell you, that Syosset Hospital. Oh, I thought you said the psychiatric hospital. No. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Psychiatric, psychotic, same shit. I'm not right in my mind anyway, but uh, I'll tell you something. Those lollipop lamb chops were delicious. <laughs> String beans, roasted yeah. potatoes. <laughs> yeah. They humbled me. They were very, very and nice people. And the nurses took care of you. I they right. took very good care of me. and um, They loved you. I'm, I'm sure. Italian from the borough of Brooklyn, which I invented, as you can <laughs> tell by my accent. Absolutely. But the two doctors that operated me, my heart surgeon, Neil Burkow from St. Francis, Hebrew of Hebrew descent, brilliant doctor, and uh, my cardiologist, William B. Chung, and my doctor, Seagal, is the man who did my hip, and uh, 
They all did their studies and you well. You were pretty happy, but you were a little grouchy when I called you. Well, you said like, nobody. You called that's why. No, because you said <laughs> nobody's taking care of me. I'm like, well, give me your address. I'll send you a card. I'm by myself, I still have my communion money, so I gotta be nice and easy. <laughs> And so nice to meet the nice people, like this beautiful girl. Her name is Sky. Yes. Look at her eyebrows, like doormats. We'll put welcome on it. <laughs> this other one, those teeth. What is your father, a dentist? <laughs> what am I missing? Good, you're beautiful. She is yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, oh, break my legs. Yeah. You could buy me a bicycle. <laughs> anyway, honey. Anyway. I did try to send you a card. You wouldn't give the address, so the show would have sent you a card. But you didn't give me that. Very answer. nice. And everybody here has been very nice to me. And uh, let's continue with yeah, the well, show. Yeah, well, we're going to talk. So now we have Sky. <laughs> what a great introduction. Thank you. Sky <laughs> is. <laughs> she is a beauty. Oh, thank you. She's only 20 years old and she's so accomplished. Let's, Sky, let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, when I was eight years old, you know, I went to my IEP meeting. I have a learning disability. Uh, and I went and I spoke up for myself and for my right to have a proper education. Uh, and when people found out about that, uh, okay. I became a public speaker and I share all my knowledge of uh, disability rights to people all over the state. And when I was 12, I published a book about my experience in school. It's beautiful. I'm reading, looking at the book. I love it. This Thank is book you. one. I'm yes. sure there's going to be a book two. I hope so, yeah. Yes, we can help you in, with that in when the future, you're ready. Yeah. Yes. But I love it, and this is what you looked like at, at that age. Yeah. I could tell. Look at that. Uh, this book takes place from when I was 10 years old. I okay. published it when I was 12, yeah. yeah. My daughter just did something like this, and it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, but it's what, made you write, what made you decide to write a book? Um, you know, I just ha I had such a common experience right. and such a unique outcome that I really wanted to share it with the world. Um, so my book actually does sell all over the world. That is Good amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Good How did you do that? Uh, I sell it mostly through Amazon, and yeah, and I through my public speaking and right. Uh, word and of you mouth. talk at a lot of schools. Yeah, I speak to a lot of students. Um, I also speak to teachers and future teachers. Uh, I've spoken to future doctors before. Uh, yeah. You're here for a boy. Wow. Boy. And doctors. not only that. All right, so you're married. How many kids do you have? <laughs> <laughs> no, very <Yeah>. single. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too busy. Very I'm single. Now all of a I'm sudden very the board's busy. lighting up now all of a Look sudden. Look at this. How people are driving in. <laughs> I'm a very busy person. You know, I do this, and then I also uh, work uh, part-time for an accountant. Okay. I do bookkeeping, uh, and I'm an administrative assistant as well. And she works in patch And she's yeah. going to be working here soon. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Possibly, And yeah. she likes That's karaoke. Right. I do. You like karaoke. And That's she told great. me she has a nice little voice. Yeah. And the last of it is you're the finalist in the Miss what? I'm a finalist for Miss New York USA. How beautiful she is. In a world of ugly people, girl. Can you believe she's that? one of the nice looking ones. She's and telling you. We're all not that lucky. Do you know that it, sh I only met her, what, about two days ago? Yeah. And in t like six hours, boom, she had everything I needed. I knew everything about her. She is so accomplished and oh. smart. And she works past midnight because, you know, I do, I do work past midnight. Right. Really? Yeah, yeah, and most I people get mad at me. Actually, I got a message from uh, Beatrice and Dawn. For I had mailed them, sent them a, a text, and they said, don't you sleep? I <laughs> think they were mad because it was like 1 or 2 in the morning. Yeah. So, but she was very nice. Yeah, because I'm working. Actually, last night I was sitting watching a movie with my friends, and I'm typing away. I'm doing all my work, and they're all like, "Just relax." I'm like, "Can't. I'm busy. Like, <laughs> I have to get this but done." That's great, though. But that's yeah. great. Now, this disability. Tell us a little bit about. Yeah. It. So, um, I have dyslexia and dysgraphia. Uh, dyslexia and dysgraphia like ha affect me a lot in different ways. Uh, now, explain to to the audience what is it exactly. So, dyslexia mm. is a reading disability Kay. which affects. Um, it could affect my actual like reading comprehension and okay. my understanding of written language. Uh, and dysgraphia is the writing portion of okay. English language. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. you overcame it. How uh, did you? Just by constantly? You know, uh, I needed a lot of services and support, and I still do to this day. You know, yeah. even at work, I use a lot of assistive technology to help me uh, be a successful student. Uh, my go-to is the iPad. I think it's very right. it's very accommodating to my needs. That's good. We well, see, but you're always going to need a little assistance, right? Always, Just, just yeah. to sharpen up everything, right? Yeah. That is yeah, terrific. I, 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 um, I have some kind of dyslexis from just getting beaten around a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I'm joking. No, um, I have a friend of mine that, that has it, and... And 
till this day, and he's 60 years old, and he's, you know, he still gets help with that. You yeah. know? And I thought it's something that you only have when you're a kid, but it's not. It's though. something I always work right. on. You know, I read a lot because I will regress if I don't right. practice or um, I need spell check for everything. And Well, I'm going to uh, teach you something proofread. and you're going to learn right here. Okay, I'm You ready. have to read a lot, right? Yeah. They, they tell you because you have to practice yeah. the brain constantly. Yeah. Well, I know you're going to find it kind of crazy, but when you're at home or anything that you watch, put closed caption on. <laughs> no. Of course. Listen to me. No, but you got to understand something. When you put closed caption on and you watch a movie, first of all, I guarantee you, any movie you've ever watched in the past and you watch, there's a lot of words you miss. That's one. Number two, when you watch a movie and you read, you read a book. <laughs> Think about how many shows you watch or how many things you watch. And so that helps the brain a lot. Somebody told me that a long time ago because I used to read a lot. And now I don't have the opportunity because I'm always everywhere. Yeah. So a friend of mine said, listen, put closed caption on. Meanwhile, my kids are like, Dad, I really don't like these words. And I'm like, listen, go to your own room. You have your own room. You can go, you know, but, <laughs> but you know, you're left. Everyone has it now. Oh, the everyone. kids have it. The every, I mean, because it's true. It's It helps you, you know, it's just keeping your brain, you know, it's like renewing everything yeah. with your brain, yeah. you know. So, um, you know, so I can imagine. I mean, I know you don't have the time to always sit and read, but you'll think of it well, when you go home. Girl. Put a closed caption on, you'll see. Yes. You know? Yeah. But today, wait, we forgot to mention what yeah, is today. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about, but yeah. What, what today, is today? Today's <laughs> National. <laughs> easy, killer. <laughs> national Camera Day. No. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, it Today is. Today is National Camera Day. Yes. Not stick your tongue down your co-host's throat. Let's take a picture. Okay. Choo -choo. No, <laughs> camera day. Didn't say take a picture with a camera. <laughs> anyway, National Waffle Iron Day. Now, I know Waffle Day, but Waffle Iron Day. I don't it know what that is. You make waffles if you have a, a nice man iron. or woman in your life. Where the hell did you, the, see, look, you put the waffles You don't see none of that shit in fine print if you, you put, have a nice woman in your life. You put it in the, the mix for the in yeah, the waffle and line, it, right, yeah. and then you eat and it. And after that, when you eat it, then you dance off a pole, right, if you have a nice man <laughs> for it. Okay. Anyway, next, National <laughs> Almond Butter Crunch Day. Which that is I like. good. You I like, like that? Crunch. No, I like I've never had it. Oh, it's delicious. Butter Crunch is the best. Yeah. Especially dark chocolate butter crunch. Ooh, mm. that sounds good. Very good. Choco dark chocolate is my favorite. But you didn't bring me any. That's what she likes. No, I did not. Dark chocolate. You did not bring me anything. Yes, she does. He Come promised to subject. bring me. He's going to give me some dark chocolate in a little <laughs> while. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Lucky I brought myself here. <laughs> I got 17 phone calls from him. <laughs> 17 was, phone calls. That was a trip. He's so funny. So, yeah, it, it, so it is. And what other day is it? Oh, Oh, there's no wonder why you're That's doing that. That's why I was doing that. If you look at Facebook today. Today's lipstick I day. have lips everywhere. Put your lips around something that matters. You have to look at the lipstick <laughs> yeah, okay. and buy a lipstick for your loved one or buy your own lipstick today. So that the man could end up wearing it on certain parts of his body <laughs> and appreciate the lipstick. I think it's a kind of a neat day, National Lipstick Day, don't you? I do not. And you're asking <laughs> a man that. You have a woman next to you, but she asks a man that. Because I, see, I knew he'd go. be Thank funny. You see what I'm talking about? Okay. You think she can ask her? She's got pretty lips. Well, she's true got beautiful don't have lips. lips. I don't have lips. And you say the In the okay. world of ugly people, she's one of the nice looking ones. I'm yeah. telling you. I have I'm not little. that lucky. I Thank God for money. My lips are <laughs> no finance, no romance. That's my it. lips are small. So I'll make you I can't yeah. say. I have, small, I have small lips. But a big mouth. Yes. <laughs> <but> small <laughs> lips. I do have small lips. I have to say it. I have to put that lipstick on big because my lips are so small. No comment. I don't even want to go with that anymore. Okay. <laughs> All right, but that's it on that one. Yeah, so let's anyway, get, yeah. Let's get back to, uh, let's get back to these two people. And, you know, I know that you said you had a little sadness in your life when your dad passed. Yeah. Yeah, and. At um, a young age. Yeah, but you had a hard time healing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's something that I deal with every day. My mom's a single parent, and I have two older siblings that I love so much. Um, and. They've always been very supportive of me, especially my mom. You know, she's always been a number mm -hmm. one supporter. I call her my momager. You know, she helps me. Momager. Stay on, stay on task. Yeah. She I helps like stay that. With me. That's a she's good great. name. I like that. I like that. And you could sing, huh? Uh, yeah, kind no, no, of. No, 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 no. See, now wait. Now all of a sudden I you know said, what? I'm I mean, going to wait. Confident. Easy killer. I said to you before, can you sing? Yeah, I'll be here. Karaoke. Can't wait. Now all of a sudden I say it. When you're on the camera, you're like, well, oh, kind of. What's your favorite sing. song? I can sing. So sing a song. Um, Anything. Sing, just sing. Give me three yeah, notes. Yeah, right now. Pick out just um, three, four notes of, of a song you like. I'll give you a minute. Give I'll me give a, a second. Um, give me a minute. 
Anyway, while, I'm, while she's thinking of something to say, I'm going to give a quick shout out. Jenny A, Jenny C, Saba, how are you? Susan's watching. John Gregory, of course, my son's watching because he. I just finished um, kind of getting annoyed with him, but you know I love you. Uh, Teresa, how you doing? Thomas, Roberta, how you doing? Roberta. Hey, you're Roberta. Roberta. Could Roberta. Could be, no, it's could his be Roberta. Roberta. Could be Roberta. It's your right. Roberta. A friend of Roberta. It's my Roberta. Oh, yes. it says Roberta right here. Oh, yes. Just, oh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. Yes. Well, well it could be Roberta. It's probably a friend. A friend. She's a good oh, friend. A good friend. Uh, she's more than a friend. She's well, a friend. He loves you. He was talking about he you before. Know, we he know all about it. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Listen, beautiful. That's all. We know beautiful. about her. No, it's me. She goes, no, it's me. No, it's me. <laughs> no, it's her. She's just making believe. Anyway, stop, stop. Mind your business. <laughs> oh, Thank goodness. you. Drive me up a wall when she's in my I'm shit. Pinned, I'm so Man, pinned. I hate because that. Because I wanted him to. I hate that. Me. That's all. Shut up. Oh, sorry. I don't need it. I, I, please. I didn't yeah, need you it. You know what? Here. Yeah. No, we don't need it. You talk. Anyway. Anyway, so we have, we have, um. Eliza, how are you? Claudia, how you doing? Eliza, by the way, I have to see you soon, and you're doing a great job with the uh, Kiwanis Malvern. You really are. I'm very, very proud of you. Francis, how you doing? Yes, she is an amazing woman. I know that. Uh, then we have Ashley. How you doing, Ashley? How you doing? I know I'm missing a couple of people on this. Mariana Laboni. Laboni. I think it's Laboni. Now, Claudia, Claudia, I'm saying hello to you. I, I missed you before, Claudia. And let me see, let me see, is there anybody else? I know I'm missing two, I'm missing three other people. Anyway, I'll get back to you, I promise. Yeah. Okay, and Emery. Hello, Emery. Okay, now, anything, just a couple notes. Um, I'm going to sing uh, the chorus from Bad Romance by Lady okay. Gaga. Is that okay? Whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Is that okay? Oh, goodness. I wasn't prepared for this. That's okay. Um, I want your love and I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. Nice. Right, I'll give it. I'll give it to you. Okay. Right. I'll Whoa. give it to you. I'll give it to you. Last I'll minute. You. How nice. I've been working on that one. That's that's on a new you. one. Well, we I like that one. Before I forget, Kevin O'Connor, how are you? Say hi to the wifey. I miss you guys. Amanda, say to Christine, say hello to everybody. And Debbie, Ed Shin, you're fired. You're fired. 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 He hasn't been around. He's a. Uh, he's a. He's a. a uh, he's a uh, photographer for the for the celebrities. Anyway. All right, let's get back. Killer, tell me, what's going on? Yeah, not too much. I was invited to the show, and here I am. You do, uh, and, and you're doing a good job. I you're do hysterical. the best I can. Life's been hard for me. Yeah. Uh, I like to go into too, too much of a deep thing, but uh, I suffered a horrific life. How, f- how horrific? Oh, my father died when I was four. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I don't want to go that horrific. That horrific. All right. That's I, uh, I was a guest of the government for 11 years for something I didn't. Good man. So you went to college, Yeah, too. I went to college. It's good you uh, went to college. We, and I didn't even know why. I'm telling you. Know, you. Back in 1993, uh, <laughs> this guy knocked at my door. Uh, you know what? I thought he was a full of brush man or something, <laughs> Avon, before your day. Here's Special Agent Jim Kerrigan. He goes, uh, are you Frank D? I says, no. I told me he's a special agent. I'm trying to figure out what's so special about this guy. I says, no, the guy across the street, that's Frank D. <laughs> my name's Joe. <laughs> so what do you want? The guy came in my house. And they asked me a few questions, and the next thing you know, they carted me off. An ambiguous tape-recorded sentence. I went to buy a used car back in 1993. I seen an Eldorado. Guy asked me a question. He says, listen, whatever you do, don't do it. You're going to get in trouble. You know, one of the customers in the used car lot. Lo and behold, they came to my house. They escorted me to Manhattan. They locked me up, and my bail was $2 million, so I couldn't get out right away. Oh, my God. You got out uh, three days. Yeah, I got out well, about a few months later, a dear friend of mine. My mother was suffering at the time, and uh, they let me out. I got out, and then uh, they offered me probation. That's how we know that I'm innocent. I'm locked up on an ambig- ambiguous, that means unclear, tape-recorded conversation. So now I decide to go to trial, ever in judgment, you know. So now I'm in front of this judge, and... Uh, he wins the affection of the jury. You know, have a pleasant evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not discuss the case, and I'll see you in the morning. The jury rolls in. Did everybody get the coffee and donuts? Mrs. Wilson, did you enjoy the eight class marshal six dozen for the nice jurors? I'm dead and stinking like a blinking. <laughs> I'm in this courtroom. There's six other people with me. There's a guy, some hillbilly from Texas, I don't know, from a can of paint. He walks in with this lawyer. The guy was unbelievable, and he got the man acquitted. His name was uh, Jay Edgington II. 
His final summation was unbelievable. He told the jury, he said, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jay Edgerton II, and I'm from the Fort Worth, Dallas area. This is the first time I've tried a case in New York. Flying LaGuardia Airport, have no Statue of Liberty. He said, by gosh, that's a beautiful statue, a sign of liberty, a sign of freedom. Right down the block from the courthouse here, we have Brooklyn Bridge. Some people say it's over 100 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm staying in a hotel on Madison Avenue. That's a real slick avenue. Something like this prosecutor over here. Got the guy acquitted, walks out the courtroom. Di Giovanni, guilty, or was only charged with one count. Ready for sentencing, Mr. Di Giovanni? I says, am I ready for sentencing? I gave the guy another 5000 to do a PSI report. He says, very well, uh, 151 months, uh, five years supervised release, and uh, $100 assessment fee. 151 months? I told this guy, stop talking. That was it. Did you ever watch The Wizard of Oz before your time? They carted me off, Herkimer and Birdmeyer, two, you know, two marshals. They put me in a the cell. They says, hey, D. Giovanni, you got more time than anybody. I was having a heart attack. He goes, 151 months. How many years is that? All of a sudden, I'm back in third grade. You know, 12 to 15 <laughs> divided by two. That's the beginning of my life. And uh, you got out. It's it. it was 11 rough years. And uh, sadly to say, when I got out, I had cancer through my body. True story, my hint of God. Yeah. I'm a Christian person, and uh, I grew up in a Judeo Christian uh, religion. And so, uh, Hebrew guy, all my, all my doctors, all Jews. Not for, you know, we were playhouses, they were libraries. You know, when they pray, they die. La, 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 la. Two people see the bank every day, Joe and a Chinaman. Huh? What are we doing wrong? <laughs> As you can say, uh, yeah, he saved my life. Eugene Schiff, the beautiful doctor in Miami. They started, I had cancer for four years. I had it, came back, had it, came back. Finally, experimental chemo. I got cured. And uh, from there, I, uh, I moved up the ladder. I worked in a law firm in Fort Lauderdale. And... Uh, I met a lot of interesting people, and I, you know, I've studied law for many, many years. Uh, I'm an ex-political hatchet man. I know the law. I know politics, which I really don't want to go in too much about. Yeah, that's not. But you know, because it's everybody's always right. And I'm it. not, I'm not familiar with the new way today. Everything is woke. Woke. I just woke up. Woke. <laughs> canceled. You're canceled. I'm canceled. Cancel culture. Canceled. Woke. Canceled. The only guys I know to cancel are guys in New York. You know. Tulip, oh, we'll cancel you. I'm just trying to figure this all out. This is the new way of the world. That being said, um, I Welcome thank to God. the show. Welcome to the show. Here I am. Eh, I took a roll of the dice. But I, you do a lot of good stuff. I mean, I you do work good a, words you have a very weird looking car, green. What's green? with the green car? My car's not I green. saw you standing in front of a green car. Oh, no. They took a picture. It was a green oh. Jeep. Yeah, there's a liberal lives across the street. You know, that's <laughs> the new way. Green, purple. I just, she took a picture of, there was a Jeep in the background. And I'm background. like, what's with the car? No, so it's I, not I, your car. No, it's not my car. No. I'm a very conservative person when it comes to, and today, you got to be careful with the gas. That's right. That's right. So you have the new Cadillac. So I got the new Caddy. Yeah, no, got I go with the, the Camry now. <laughs> Toyota, four door, everybody's got their own door. Why take a chance? That's it. But you do a lot of community work. I do community work. No, that's I try to you, help that's people. That's because you had to. And I've been humbled by people. Uh, upon leaving Syosset Hospital a few weeks ago, the nurses were very nice to me. Administration, they wrote me a beautiful card. They all clapped. So Aww. nice to have. So I was humbled by myself. Yeah, but when, you're a little grouchy. Well, I'm a, a grouchy. They just put a new hip in me. Would you be grouchy too? <laughs> You know, but nice and easy. You know, it's <laughs> nice to be important, but more important to be nice. That's well, right. that's, that's very true. And there it is. That's very true and what you said. that's it. We do what we could do. We do the best we can. You know, I know a man no shoes. I meet the man with no feet. Could always be worse. <laughs> you know, and uh, not to get into religious things and uh, the slavery. Everybody said uh, this and that. We were all abused. You know, the Hebrews, if they told them in 39, they had to pick cotton, mortar. Uh, they would say, when do we start? Abraham, Sarah, pick. We're not going to the gas chamber today. Not to make light of things. But everybody's had their bad times in life. Well, that's slavery, Italians, the right. Irish. That's right. 
Everybody's Everybody. got their burden. Well, Except like the ones that got the, the worst of the stickers, the American Indians. The American Indians. We wiped in- them out. Yeah. Right. It was their land. That's it. It was and their land. And we just land. give them a little foxwood, and that's yeah. too much. And we still want to take it away. <laughs> it's that's true. That's why I like talking about that but stuff. But you're still but keeping yeah. busy with Keep other kinds. You do consulting, right? I consult people. Uh, I help people advise your business. And I do the best I can. And I perform for certain groups of people, people that appreciate my humor, because not everybody could understand what I'm saying. This young lady right here, she wouldn't know what the Wizard of Oz is. I know what the Wizard you of Oz is. See that? Up the, okay, okay, there we go. Oh, she got me. Look oh, I'm like the guy speech. in the Wizard of Oz. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. I just have a story <laughs> fee for like three years, when, three years in a row really? when I was a child. Yeah, yeah I love the Wizard of Oz. We all do. Oh, okay, yes. okay. It's a great movie. Uh, took second place for Gone with the Wind in 39. <laughs> Uh, at, you know, for the Academy Award, I and even, uh, I even thought of. produced by Mervyn Lee Roy, whose wife was Diane Warner, one of the girls from Warner Brothers. They had two children, Warner Lee Roy. They took her maiden name and made it his first name, Warner Lee Roy, and Susan uh, Lee Roy. That was they owned the Russian Tea Room, and Warner Lee Roy was the one who uh, he opened up uh, Tavern on the Green. He was a restaurant personality type of person. So for trivia, for people that wanted to know a little bit about the movies, mm-hmm. and there it is. So now you, you know. said you've done some other kinds of shows. What, yeah, comedy yeah, or what? No, I've done a uh, few reality shows with a friend of mine. He just wrote a few books. He's a uh, New York Times bestseller. I don't want to talk too much about his name or yeah, what no. he does, but... Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not important, but I've done some things. Do, yeah, that's good. You and, keep busy. Uh, yeah. I keep myself busy. And, uh, you have any kids? I have no children. Okay. I, and now uh, you're married or no? I, uh, I don't go into my personal life right. with marriage and yeah, stuff yeah, like no that. No marriage in that Yeah, because it's not important, you know. Some people are gatherers of information and offers of none. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to know? I ask them we're inquiring minds. Uh, yeah, know. None of your business. <laughs> we actually talk too much. You ask so many questions. You talk well, too when, much. Well, when you get interviewed, you know, when that's you get a normal but, thing. Uh, you know. I same call thing with the FBI interviews. Yeah, same well, thing. the, the thing. economy of words. That's There's it. nothing to <laughs> say. That's right. I you already know fifth. it already. I plead the fifth. Yeah, I plead. When he came to my house, he told me he was a special agent. I was trying to figure, what's so special about this man, you know? <laughs> Don't you know what you're looking for? So if you had to say one thing that really was the worst when you were in that place, what um, th- what got you through? So your faith? Later. Jesus Christ, I Jesus will say. Christ. Yes. Well, it was either that or Bubba. No, no, there was none of that. They don't, that's all. No, I don't know. Jail. So, no, a lot of people no, think I that, but uh, you mind your business. Most people, they just want to be left alone. That's it. They want to go home, but the home. people that's don't. It. People that are in there for life, they're not looking to start trouble because they got to be in there for life. They yeah. don't want to be in the hole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was in special housing units uh, from 95 to 96 and from 98 to 99. Never written an incident report. Just that you become popular, you know. Mr. D has a political influence over a prison population. He must be put in the shoe. Yeah, that's and it. And they just Oop, put you in it. there. Just like that. So everybody t- <laughs> watching the show, uh, when you go home tonight, lock yourself in the bathroom, <laughs> and I'll see you next year because I did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not an easy thing, but thank God I'm able to read, and uh, I did my studies well as I read. Yeah. And you're a lawyer, too, right? Yeah, yeah well, I studied. I, uh, 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 well, right? I pissed the bar. They're, they're the best lawyers in the world. Yeah, the right? best lawyers in the world. Well, these guys it. today, they couldn't win a stuff down on the bazaar. I'm telling you. All these, all these politicians, you know. Yeah. But well, that's, that's another, another thing. Story. That's Let's another story. That, yeah. But so far as lawyers are concerned, uh, yeah, the best ones are in the prison because no, they're looking to get out. The best thing is you took something really bad. And it turned it into something positive. I thank God for that. that. He because saved you know my what? life. Think about it. 75% of people that go to jail return right back. They do. You know that? And you did it. 75%. You did it. So you got 25% right there. Yeah, I'm home. And that means the world. It really does. You know, people don't 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 realize that. Yeah, you know, I'm Sometimes home. we grow up in, a, in an environment and we think it's okay, but and then we try to believe that your friends are your friends and they're, they're your family, but they're not. They're not. That's it. So, you know, you just try and tell, I just try and tell my kids and, and friends, you know, there's one of the kids I'm, I used to, when I lived in Harlem, I, and I, I remember going back to visit a friend of mine, and I see this young kid, he's 17 years old, driving a brand new BMW. Yeah. And it was my friend's kid. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Your parents live in a project right here, rent controlled and, 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 and EB, uh, WIC checks and all that stuff from the government, and you're driving a Beamer. And I said, you know what the worst thing is? Guys like you. And I said, I love you dearly. I said, how do you pay for that? Oh, I work. No. I said, you hustle. I said, you hustle. 
So you hustle bad stuff on the street. And you know what the worst thing is? I can't stand a rat. I can't stand someone that'll tell on someone because they get in trouble. First of all, nobody forced you to sell drugs or to do something bad. And all of a sudden, now you have all this money, you're a big shot, but now when you get in trouble, instead of taking taking the responsibility and say, listen, no, it's, it's on me, I can't. No, they can't. Yeah, you know no, the model of the, the rat. Why go to the pen when you could send a friend? That's it. Exactly. That's a fact. That's a fact. See, I don't know about all these little sayings. Wow. It's a special show. Well, you came out of it so positive. Well, it's really, really great, though. It's really great. You do a lot of nice things, and you're always very pleasant when I see you. Nice, like I said, nice and easy, and that's it. Yeah. and the best we can do. Yeah, we're very proud of, you know, how you changed your life. And there That's it is. That's what this is all about, you know, changing, and, uh, you know, in this I'm economy. home 17 years now without any uh, incidents, so <laughs> to speak, which I wouldn't have in the beginning. Right. I had nothing to do in life. You know, just no, you just were in the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. Circumstance. wrong time, I say. Circumstance. That's it, wrong place. Yeah. Error in wrong judgment. Should have took the play, would have been home, but yeah. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. You it know, is what it is. It's over and done with. It's over and done with. No, but now you're a little bit of a comedian. You kind of make me laugh a lot when I see you. Ooh, Kyra, Kyra, hello, hello, hello. How so are you, love, love? What do you think of all this, honey? You know, <laughs> I'm just listening. I yeah, you're enjoying yeah. Uh, the conversation, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm a good listener. I don't know. Yeah, I, like, I know. I like to take in information. I have yeah. a very good friend, Kyra. Uh, she was a friend of my son. She's a great singer too. And yeah. I'm waiting for her to come down. You missed her singing a minute ago, but I'm waiting for Kyra to come down. And uh, she's a busy bee. She's a big shot, so she doesn't have time. But she says, hi, Dad. I love that. <laughs> Joe, I know you're going to Florida. I'm going to try and be there later to see you if I can. John Scalisi, how you doing, buddy? You know, I still love you, John. And Ed Shin. He goes, I'm mingling with Christy Brinkley. Oh, yeah. He, well, he so is. He's a big shot. But I heard you're coming. Johnson, how are you? I heard you're coming, uh, Ed, Yeah, he's going to be weeks. there. So. Anyway, when I see you, you're paying now when you come here. You pay every time now. Remember that. <laughs> no free drinks. You pay at the door. Oh, All that's right. funny. It's only because I love you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so go what ahead. do you got coming up? Now, let's talk about how you entered this new Miss New York, you know? Yeah. Because um, I think there's a lot of girls out there would love to do it, but they're afraid. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up, like, most girls my age, like, you know, very, very insecure and had a lot of, uh, la like, a lack of confidence about myself. And uh, over the past year, you know, after COVID and everything, I kind of was like, I don't have to feel that way about myself. I can tell myself good things, and I, that will make me feel better. I don't need the validation from others around me. So now uh, stop right there. You're saying you didn't need the validations, right? No. But something must have made you say that to yourself, or something you must have saw, something you must have heard that made you feel like, hey, enough is enough. Yeah. So do you know what that was? I think I was just done with uh, my ex-boyfriends. Okay, and there you go. That's it. Yeah, That's there you go. For it. Now yeah. you can be in Adele and sing and make millions. <laughs> and don't forget about it. I'll be a new manager. Love your mom, but <laughs> no yeah. more momager. I don't know how momager. she'll feel about that. Yeah, mama, yeah, I love I know, momager. Right? <laughs> it was my idea there, ma. Momager. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, I was, you know, I have ADHD, so my mind's always going. I'm thinking of random well, things, yeah. and I was thinking about Miss USA, and I was like, she's really cool, and she's so right. confident. She has all these wonderful qualities of a woman that I want to have. Uh, and I, so I just kind of signed up for my state pageant, and did a couple interviews, and wow. I, I am now a finalist. So I was oh. really right. so That's what So finalist. what is this? Is this something that we can see or so, stream? So or the state pageant, no. Okay. Um, there will be eventually um, – People will be able to like vote for me, okay. and that will get me into the semifinals. So is there a way that we could you know, yeah, eventually? Know yeah, I, I will let no, you guys when know. Time, yeah. when the time comes. Yes, yeah. I will let you guys know. Yeah, uh, and I could be like pe per people's choice, kind of. Okay. So that would be very exciting, uh, and that will get me into the semifinals. So that means we all have to start to have everybody in the club that night. <laughs> yes. Their phones and everybody has to start. <laughs> yeah, Stop the music. <laughs> it's really important now. All right, we got to vote for Sky. And where is it going to be held? Is uh, it online or is it in person? It's in it's in person actually, and the interviews are too. They weren't where? supposed to be in the Catskills. Uh, oh, yeah, very exciting. Two and a half hours. Now somebody it's about just asked, three. Somebody just asked. Uh, Emery LeBron asked, how do we get Sky's book? Yeah. So you have uh, to tell us, how do we get your book? You can order it on Amazon. The title is I Am Just Me. Just look at them. At, look at the camera. Just tell uh, them. Like, yeah, we yeah you can order it on Amazon. The title is I Am Just Me. Uh, and my name is Sky Burke, and you can find out more about me just by Googling my name. Or you go on our webpage. Um, you can check out my page, Facebook. Whatever, yeah. Check out our Facebook also. Yeah, and we'll be posting it, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's great. So now are you nervous about going back to the pageant or no? You're really confident. No, I'm really excited. You know, just the experience itself will be really wonderful, you know, to meet other 
girls that I want to be like, you know. I, I keep saying I'm not a pageant girl, but I guess I am now. You well, you got it. Oh, you, you got you it in your blood. It is. You think it was. You didn't think it was, right? Yeah, I mean, practicing now, the pageant walk every day, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe now, I now, can do now this. the key thing is you're not back with the ex, are you? No way. You sure? Definitely not. Right. Yeah, well. yeah, what it, is it sometimes You know, it's so happens. funny. I was talking to so many people, and it's like, you know, I, I don't know. Many people have been in love, okay? When, when you think about it, when you're young, you know, say 17, 20, whatever it is, you didn't care, right, when you're in high school and the boy took a bus or rode a skateboard or rode a bicycle to see you, right? Because they loved you. You loved each other for each other. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's like being in love. And, and I always said, what is it like to really be in love? Yeah, do I love? I, I love to love. That's me. I love to love. But to be in love where it's like, can you... What do you do if, if, if she's not around you, you know, or he's not around you? I mean, it's like, not to say you're going to become a stalker. I'm talking about love. Okay? Not, <laughs> the not real what is he doing or what is she doing? I mean, I'm 20 years old. I don't know how much about love I actually know. Well, well wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> but you love them, though, right? No, no, see, look, right. see, you gotta, see, this is what I always say to anybody, whether people are divorced or not. When you turn around and you're with someone, and when you break up, you're with the person five years, four years, whatever it is. I don't care if you had two good years with him. I don't care if you, even one good year. But something made you stay for the four. I'm just saying, or the three years, whatever it is, right? So you definitely had good times with him, right? Yeah. Okay. So when it comes to, it just didn't work out. Whatever reason he did it, and I, I can tell he messed up really bad because I can see it in your face. And dude, you're a schmuck. You have no clue what you <laughs> yeah, did or what you lost. No good. I'm telling you, buddy. <laughs> But don't worry. I That's mean, you probably okay. realize But it. look at you now. Yeah. Uh, That's the, it. the girls in the pageant, were they all kind? Is there they're any of that all lovely, BB yeah. stuff Are going they really? on? Or no? no, they're all just so lovely and so supportive. That's you know, nice. I, you know, this being my first pageant, I have girls texting me and giving right. me advice oh, cool. and calling me and helping me practice my interviews and that makes give me, me feel so good. much no and it's they don't such put a like oil on the bottom of your shoe and things no, like that. No, they're so <laughs> supportive of each other. It's like the most interest you you know right. And like, as I, you know, the hardest thing about this pageant is I get very easily intimidated by beautiful women, and especially Why? the fact You're that I'm gorgeous. supposed to compete with them. You know, it's right, just, right, you know, yeah, especially yeah. I'm supposed to compete against these against these girls that have been doing this for so long. Now this uh, is your first. You've never done is, any kind of a pageant. This is my first. You made a like lot a of progress. Like a little pageant or nothing. Yeah. You didn't do like a no, little nothing. No. Oh, okay. You did absolutely fabulous. Everybody's writing congratulations, congratulations. Oh, thank yeah, you, everyone. You have to believe in yourself. Well, thank you, everyone. Like, oh, and you know, country. we have to thank your aunt. Yes, Aunt Lee. Aunt yeah, Aunt Leah and Donna for yeah. you know introducing yeah. you guys to us, and we're gonna. Help you out, whatever yeah, we could do. No, I would fantastic. You might be working at Jason. Rachel, <laughs> I might Rachel, be. Rachel, Diana. Yeah. Okay. She goes, "Hello, Sky. Love you, Aunt Rachel." She's saying Aww. hello, love you. You get a lot love of you, Aunt nice Rachel. messages yeah. coming yeah. in, honey. I have a very supportive group and community and family. So now let's talk about the clothes. This is gorgeous. So this is from my favorite store, which is uh, no, uh, let me, no. Let me tell you, my uh, mom's closet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. go for it. There you go. Uh, as long as it's not uh, what I thought it was. I was yeah. like, Mom's closet, gotta go for it. Mom's closet, uh, so are these earrings. So They're thank you. Beautiful. Mom. mom, you've done good, Mom. She's you've great. done good. Wow. What does Mom look like? Uh, she's beautiful gorgeous. also. She's beautiful. Oh, what about Dad? Dead. Now, you know, Dad's better be, Dad has to be good looking. Well, he was. Yeah, yeah. He oh, was, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even, I'm so sorry. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. But Mom, yeah, I mean, she must have some bigger look at that dress. I mean, was it really Mom's? Yeah, this is, yeah, this, I, I went into her closet this morning. Wait, mom's Mom looks like is you. Gorgeous. Yeah. Skinny and everything. Wow, She's that's beautiful, wonderful. Beautiful, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Well, you picked a great dress and color for yourself. <laughs> it matches your lipsticks and everything. Thank you. Hold on, Marion Wildnire. Nire. Marion, Marion, Marion. I am so shocked. Mar you're killing me, honey. I just gotta say you're killing me. It's Marion. Can you believe that? Look, I, I'm talking. I'm talking to people behind the camera about you. Marion's a sweetheart. When I tell you this woman, I don't mean to cut you off. Uh, we used to work at Century 21, one of the uh, Century 21s oh. together. And she was such a go-getter and still is, has a great husband. She lives a great life out. Like, wait, is it like the Hamptons or something like that, somewhere out east? Always, always taking pictures with her on the boat. I mean, not me, but I'm so glad you're watching. How I really, nice uh, that. I love that. And Luisa Yolanda Galan Mistrada. Uh, Luisa, I would hate, I would hate to sign your name. That's a long name. Luisa Yolanda Galan Mistrada. That's a long name. <laughs> She's watching. Oh, it's my Louisa. Louisa, babe, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, didn't, I just never knew your full entire name. Louisa, how are you, hon? And how's the hubby? I hope everybody's good. 
No, just everybody's popping up. I love this. Yeah, love and Maria, this. how are you? Hopefully, I'll get to see you soon. And uh, I'm excited. Rich, Richie, 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 how are you, buddy? Wow, I'm really happy. Yeah. You know, it's, it's everything happens really? for a reason. They it, say. It's true. Everything it's happens true. for a reason. So now you have a lot of clothes, or do you, do they give you the clothes for the pageant now? Oh, I had to do that all myself. Oh, yeah. no, wait a second. They don't, they don't. If they tell you an outfit, you have to buy the outfit, or do they give you the outfit, or you uh, just pick your own outfit? I pick and whatever you're just I want. Yeah, whatever makes wow. me feel confident. Yeah, no, 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 wait a yeah. second. When they do a swimsuit, it can't be a one piece. It has to be a two piece. Or it can be a one piece. I thought it, everyone had to have. Two same, piece of whatever yeah. it is, but it has yeah. to be two pieces. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. So is the bathing suit thing kind of hard for you or no? Um, she weighs three pounds. I <laughs> know, but it's still it's still a tough thing to do, whether you're <laughs> well, thin or not. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Explain this one. What's so tough? Not for anything. You're skinny. You don't have a stomach at all. And you put a bathing suit on and you walk. Excuse no, me, I, still I have was chubby. I have my own security. No, 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 wait, I'm not talking about that point. Like no, everybody has myself. their own securities, I'm saying. But just in general, I meant. You could just put a bathing suit and just walk right outside onto the beach and you're fine, right? Honestly, I didn't say you like the bathing suit. Do I, you don't yeah, sit there going, do I look fine? Yeah, but are you wearing it fine? on a stage in front of 100, 200 people? No, 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 <laughs> but no, 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 just in general, though. Just in general. I mean, well, wait a second. 100, 200 people, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. But when assuming, you're on the beach, yeah. you have a lot more, though. When you walk but on they're that not beach, look, they're not specifically they're looking not at you. Totally uh, focused that's what you on. think. What do you think? Guys wear sunglasses laying on their back like this? <laughs> what, they're sleeping? Come on. So then you, you're a little nervous <laughs> about it. The world doesn't revolve around me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does. It really does. You don't realize it. It does. <laughs> okay, it does. What, what you're saying is you have a little bit, but you're okay with yeah, it. No, yeah, no, I'm excited to, like, see if I have that in me. You, you do, know, honey. He does that. He wears a Speedo bathing suit no. all the time. <laughs> Shorts, really? And this is the uniform. Black T-shirt. <laughs> in the beach. <laughs> Buffalo jeans. That's it. That's it. Low cold. hot as hell. That's With it. And oh, he's, always, he's always creaming that head, always that bullet cream. head. Yeah. He's always shining. Yeah. The head yeah. is Scott's always shining. miracle grow for his head. He's got the turf builder. <laughs> <laughs> the ship sailed. They ain't coming back. the Chia Pet. That's what I use. <laughs> I use the pet. Chia Pet stuff. That's what I do. Well, I tell you, I think you're going to do great. So what's the date of the next... Oh, for answer. the for the pageant, yeah. it's August 18th to the 20th. Okay. Uh, yeah. So is there a way we'll be able to watch it? Uh, it no? won't be aired, but if no, I... No, but stream it. I know you can stream it. It's got to be something streaming, really? No, and, uh, uh, if I win, though, right. then the Miss USA pageant will be then live. Oh, oh well, we'll be there. But I thought right before that, you're allowed, they have something that you could stream or look into. No? no. Not at all? All right. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll right, but where's it going to be? So we're going to go. Uh, Catskill. <laughs> Catskill. What's the name of the place? Do you know? Uh, the Resort World Casino. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's very beautiful. Sorgades, isn't it? It's, I think you get off at Sorgades to go there. I don't know, but yeah. it's, it's very beautiful, yeah. Yeah, Catskill's very, nice, very nice. You're going to have a group, the family go, probably, right? Uh, I'm mostly can we all doing, go? I'm mostly doing, uh, everyone can go, yeah. Well, welcome. Yes, everyone. We'll make you signs. Oh, yeah, we're taking a bus <laughs> tour. We're taking a bus. Yeah, we'll it. get, bu we'll get really, bucket list tours. You're going to turn on, we have all these things, sky, sky. <laughs> that would be there. a lot of fun. We do a lot of and stuff. And she's like going to wear the bikini. We love no, sky. you will have the Speedo bathing suit. That's I'll it. just hold the sign. That's it. Have that's the black it. T-shirt. That's it. I'll have the flip flops. I we'll give everybody a, um, something to hand out, like <laughs> both the skies. Yeah. But really, the voting comes from the actual management team. Okay. Yeah, you don't, right? You yeah. We can't vote, but we yeah. can push you. Yeah. Help you push you, push you, push you, push you. Well, I'm very excited for you. So, uh, is there you anything know. that you want to do later down the road like, besides? Yeah. Uh, something that you really. Yeah, so I've always worked with people with disabilities. I want to be a teacher when I'm older. I want to be yeah. a his his special ed history teacher. I also eventually want to be a transition coordinator. So I want to help kids with disabilities in high school prepare for life after high school. That's great. Yeah. That is a terrific Good. career. Thank yeah. you. And like I told you, I might be able to get you into abilities yeah. for like a part-time gig. Because yeah, that that's be what they do every day right here in Roslyn. Yeah, I, I think it's something that's very important to me. You know, I have a disability and I need a transition. And I also have a brother with autism. And, you know, watching him go through transition was something very unique. And I definitely yeah. want to be able to help and support people right. in that. And I think it's yes. one of my strong suits. That's and great. we also have a contact if you need from uh, for autism also. Hey, honey, I, I got to tell you, you have beautiful hair. Right? Uh, thanks. It's really your real hair, right? Thank you. I need to get it done. Wait, it's your real hair, right? Don, yeah. it's right, gorgeous. Wait, wait, wait. He loves hair. All right. I just want to <laughs> see if you have any tracks or anything like that. I always check. That's just me. <laughs> now, He's a hair since guy. You have really, yeah, I love hair. Now, would you ever, and I'm just asking you, not now, but would you ever donate your hair? I did when I was younger. Oh, did you? All right, yeah. then I'll have to ask My you hair does not no, no, grow no, that right. fast. No, it's okay. No, no, you did it already. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's nice that you did oh, it. Oh, yeah. Beverly Jean says, does Sky need a sponsor for the pageant? 
Yeah, I do, I do need sponsors for the okay. pageant. Yeah. Wow. Right. That's so something we I've been so looking So we definitely for. have to look into that. Yeah, I have a GoFundMe page I have. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. So what is it? GoFundMe? What? Sky uh, it's Skyberg. Um, is Miss there a way New we York can put that on there if we have that? Is there a way? A miracle? No? Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to get his email, man. Thank you, guys. And we'll get it. We'll get you to Beverly Jean. Yeah. How do you like that? That's awesome. Rachel, Saba, how are you? Oh, I haven't seen her. Yeah, so Saba's missing again. I, one day and that's it. Never saw her again. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even seen her on Facebook. But anyway, what do you plan on doing next? That's a good question. I'm not a fortune teller, but uh, mm -hmm. nice and easy I go. Uh, I really don't know. I just what town do you live in? What town do you live in? I live in um, North Shore, Glen Cove, Glen okay. Head, uh, that area okay. there. And... Uh, I see. I was trying to retire right now. I'm having a little problems. You play tennis? With my pension? No. no. I swim. Tennis. I'm an avid swimmer. I can swim. Oh, are you? I didn't yes, know that. I'm a, you tried. You tried to sneak. You tried. Swimmer, did, did you try getting out of there from Rikers? It didn't work. No. <laughs> I tried. It didn't work. They picked me right there. Yeah, up. that was a long time ago. I was like, I was just trying to like sunbathe. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm trying to get my pension right now. No, oh, because I'm what I'm gonna do. Joy Joy yeah. says hello. Mm -hmm. Joy Joy. <laughs> Vaxen, wait, Van Axen. Hi, Joy. She actually is my karaoke partner. Yeah. Joy. Oh, Joy, well, you guys. Honey, I come. love you already. Joy, you can you bear my come children down. when we're done after the show. <laughs> you have to come on Thursday nights for karaoke. Definitely. I have very talented karaoke really? friends. Yeah. Oh, well, that's serious? it. There you gotta it make is. a date. They oh, even had a contest. You, got, you know what? You got you to tell me if when you could gather up a few of your friends yeah. to come down. I'd really I will. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah I definitely Before will. the pageant, woman. Before the Before pageant. Before the pageant. I, three weeks, we got this. That's it, we got Aww. it, that's it. So what are you going to do? Uh, Just consult, continue consulting, helping yeah, people? helping people, and uh, I'm working on a film right now a with film. a friend of mine. Okay. He's uh, finishing up his book. His name is Louis Ferranti. What is it all about? What kind uh, of a background uh, film? Uh, well, uh, yeah, real, uh, real life, real not life. a reality show, but just uh, real life. Happened. Yeah, we mm -hmm. talk about politics and religion and different okay. things. Okay, that's going to be something. And, uh, oh, it's going to be really interesting and professionally filmed. All the right people take care of this. You know, we have people, a group of people. Right. That Very nice. Well, company. good luck with that. So when you have well, the red we'll carpet see. stuff, we'll interview you on yeah, the red carpet. Yeah, about the red carpet. Well, we did, just did it. Yeah. yeah. A few weeks ago, we did a red carpet. Well, the prison wow. is the cement carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red is only for the blood that's on there, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, now we we'll see how it goes. I do one day at a time. Yeah. Well, you're very well known at the restaurant. Well, wherever I go, some people know me. Yeah. Different circles and groups of people in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you are loved. Yeah. I thank God. Do you know who he's very loved. good friends with? Eddie. I know. Yeah. yeah there's people. Eddie. Eddie great guy. A lot of people know me. You know, I'm known to not only in the greater metropolitan area of Florida. I invented the state of Florida, and <laughs> I'm very well known in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach, and uh, Dade County. Dade County. <laughs> no, it's a wonderful and. Uh, they know me there too. So no. Florida, did you like it better there? Or well, here? I'm there 42 years. I'm he down is. there. Oh, and you Florida were. Florida too, dual resident. I'm down there 42 years. I'm so from you the got beginning. a lot of things going on. Oh, I'm there. I'm part of the old guard. The not old the guard. New, before South Beach. I mean, I was in South Beach when. Before the Cubans even yeah, got there, yeah. I was there in the 70s. And, uh, you know, I mean, times have crazy. changed. It's crazy now. Crazy right? now. Uh, now, property right there is because of everything and that's going on. And I remember one time, it, was, it could have been maybe about 30 years ago, and a friend of mine said, come on, let's, it's called Central Park West. It's on South Beach. And he turns around and he says, and I was just getting into real estate. And, and, they, and they asked $250,000 right on the water, and it had like 20 apartments. But I didn't like the way it looked because I was scared. Because I yeah, just saw no. it. Listen, I didn't know anything. Yeah. I see a little crack like along the side of the building, and I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to demolish this and whatever. You can't. Now touch you it. can't go near that place you unless fifteen touch. million dollars. Nah, you pay three million, million just for the dirt over there. I'm mm. telling you. Jeez. And uh, I got right. a lot of good friends of mine down there. My friend uh -huh. Sue Hannawitz, beautiful woman. Hannawitz. Hannawitz. She's like the real estate queen of uh, Golden Beach. Oh. It's like two miles long. All right. So you right see, he just get listen. Share the wealth there, woman. All right. He just gave you a plug. Plugs she are not need free it. here we in New York. Yeah, They're not free. She's doing it all. She's doing it. Over 50 years, she's really, 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 yeah, she's she's a nice woman. There's a lot of nice people down there. How uh, often do you go? 
Well, I wasn't this year. I couldn't go down because I was yeah. six. But I'm usually down there every year. I go down in the winter. Mm. And uh, at one point, I was living there, you know, for like 15 years. I was just steady there as a steady resident there. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I came back up to the metropolitan area. So I'm always back and forth. Right. My cars are registered down there. Some of them down there. Some up here. You're a busy and, guy. Uh, hey, you keep it. Roberta going. That's yeah. for sure. Roberta oh, keeps you going. Oh, she's the salt of the earth. Of yeah. her, really, really. She's great, a wonderful great woman. Great person. You should, you should have brought her uh, down here. Should have I invited her, but she was busy. She's busy. She's got right, the grandkids. All right, so next time you, you come down. You bring the she grandkids, the grandkids too. Yeah, kids, Roberta you know. knows. I always invite her. Yeah. She's, she's going to write her book, girl, so. She's going to write a book, Man so. works son to son. Woman's work is never done. That's yeah, it. Yeah, but she she's retired. Exactly. She's, she's got a good retired. life now. She was, uh, you know, she, she had a hard job. She worked many, many years. She changed her life. She changed her life. And she met you. Yeah, she I know her forever. Again. I know her forever. Yeah, well, uh, I know Roberta. Her, uh, I know her forever. Well, well, guys, I got to tell you, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you guys Don't for forget, Before us. I forget, you got to share. You got to share. You got to listen to his life story. You got to follow him. You definitely got to follow Sky. Sky's right. the yeah. winner here. So <laughs> Sky's the limit right here. She's that's what limit. I said. The yeah. sky's limitless. That's it. Sky's limitless. Limitless. Oh, limitless. oh yeah. that's right. Limitless. That's and right. And again, how do they reach you? Where do they go to? Uh, they can reach me on my Facebook page. Yeah, that's tagged. And Which if is? you want to reach him, you look at the postal section yeah. on the wall. Wanted. <laughs> that's it. And He's uh, always there. Could always get a hold of me through Valentine. Oh, that's yeah. It. That's what I need. Yeah, that's you want him? Call me. That's it. I'm not really in demand for anything. I just came on as a guest That's to it. help a friend of mine out That's here. It. And I really thank the both and of you. And that was nice oh, of you. Thank you. Thank you. Really thank nice you to so meet much. you. You did a really? great, great job here. Bang up job. Thank you. Thank you. And so nice to meet you, so young nice lady. Meeting you. Yeah. So now we got to thank our sponsors, Tranquility Spa. Angela, you do a great job all the time. We don't even have to tell you that. Right there located on 700 Franklin Avenue in Franklin Square. Beautiful salt cave. They massage your legs, your back, your brain. They don't massage your mouth enough to shrink it, yeah, but they'll find something today. for that. I didn't mean it. Anyway, uh, Oro Puro, uh, Teddy, thank you for all your jewelry needs. The guy has every kind of piece of jewelry known to mankind. Great guy. He's located at 1033. Is that the guy in Franklin Square? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice man. Who, know, Who doesn't know uh, Teddy? Who doesn't yeah, know no, Teddy? Nice, Everybody knows Teddy. He's a nice guy. I met him before. That guy's not really a nice guy. guy. guy's a class Wonderful. Act, a class nice. act. Nice Wonderful really guy. Nice and uh, he's located at 10, 10, 1033 Hempstead Turnpike in Franklin Square. And we have Jackson, you and Prince. Prince is 978 Hempstead Turnpike in Franklin Square. He does all your tax needs. He's a great guy. He kept me out of jail, at least with the IRS. So thank you so much for everything you do, Prince. And MV3 Salon. You got to see Bethany or Jen. And they're located at 362 Dogwood Avenue in Franklin Square. For all your hair needs, look look at everything that they do for me. Look at this. Your hair looks See good. See the highlights? Lately. No, it's called gray lights. No, but you your hair okay, looks so different that, lately. Uh, I don't know what matter. it is. You're, you're, you're buried. Nothing's gonna save you right oh, now. Oh yes, so it good. is. Okay. Come on. Anyway, no. guys, thank you so much now for showing. Now before you thank go, you so, oh, no, yeah, yeah. no, you're getting a gift. You're going Aww. to the spa. Yeah. You're going to the spa. Oh, thank you. Okay, and you're going to the spa. Okay, but wait, but wait, you're giving them hair products. Because it's for it's for Roberta. They're for Roberta. Roberta has beautiful hair. Oh, okay. thank you give very much. So we'll you have to share that. And the spa, yeah. you can go and get your feet massaged. Yeah. Right, you have to spa. tell them that yeah. we sent you. And, and everybody's you. plugging everybody. But this uh, gentleman you. has a wonderful club here called Club G. That's right. Uh, so come you, on down. There are no strangers here, just friends we haven't met. That's it. That's it. They're that's big enough to right. show. Right. small that's enough right. to care. I like Come in, have a cocktail. It's it. like a wonderful place. It is. It. We, we have a lot of good times here. There yeah. it is. Good so, time. Robert, so, Roberta, we'll thank you, you so much. Marguerite, I know you're watching. Thank you so much for your wishes. And everybody, listen, thank you for your prayers. That's all I ask for is please, I need your prayers really, really bad. Okay, and so, I am going to guys, miss I, you. I'm going to miss you, too. You're going to be fine. I'm going to miss you. Good you're messing up all the damn I'm sorry. Your sign is going to be right here. It's going to be a wrap right now. Enough. Thank you so much. For everything, I really mean that, and I'll talk to you guys soon. I do have my phone, so you guys, if you need to hit me up, just give me a couple of days to, I'll be like, ah, you know, with the morphine stuff. <laughs> Good stuff, though. But just hit me up, and I'll respond back to you. I love you guys. Thank you, and it's a? It's a wrap. Okay, good.